everyone, this is Elvira, and I'm here to talk about body talk. And this is a really interesting modality that I've been using, um, and I was trained originally in 2015 in, um, and I basically in the last few years have been doing a whole bunch of extra training, and uh, I find it really interesting how it just fits in with the way I see healing and how I um, envision my entire practice to be. So I'd like to explain a little bit more about body talk and um, hopefully uh, it kind of sparks an interest in you. Maybe you've never heard of it or maybe you have and maybe you never tried it. So um, basically it's a consciousness based healthcare system and it's a form of energy medicine. Um, it helps to rebalance and reestablish uh, the communication between different systems in the body and the mind. So this is actually helping the body to reestablish its own natural ability to heal itself because the body can heal itself. It's just sometimes there are blockages there that make it harder for that to happen. So what causes these these imbalances and these miscommunications within the systems in the body is is stress. It's usually um, environmentally whatever's happening around us and how uh, our bodies will uh, take it in and it'll throw things off basically. So that will create dis-ease, okay? Uh, through subtle biofeedback and muscle testing, that is how we are able to locate and determine all these different areas that need to be balanced within the body and the mind. So the methods um, include tapping. So tapping is a way to start to open up um, the awareness and the uh, ability for the body and the mind to integrate what we are doing. So there are actually three areas we tap in general. And depending on the methods, there might be other forms of tapping that occur. But this is what uh, overall what we do. So they're called the three brains, okay? So the brain itself, the heart brain, and the gut brain. So when we tap on top of the head here, and we cover both, both sides of the brain when we do this, it's helping to bring awareness to the health priorities that are coming up. And it also begins to activate um, the restoration of the communication links that have been disturbed. So it's, it's like an activation. It's like saying, hey, wake up brain. <laughs> Let's get this information in there, okay? Uh, when we tap on the sternum at the heart center, this is more um, about storing and imprinting the changes at the heart center. And it's also helping to transfer a knowingness as a new memory through the body-mind complex. And so that way, when this is imprinted, it, the changes that we're making will last. Okay? And then the gut brain is where the changes are integrated at a gut level, so it becomes fully embodied within the whole body, mind, spirit. And it also helps with discernment. So this is, a, this is those three priorities that we need to tap out in order to get that effect, okay? Another priority uh, in the methods that we are using is deep breathing because deep breathing, as, as many people know, is really important for overall health. Um, so in, in this uh, instance, the inhale, it's helping with scanning higher frequencies such as thoughts and emotions. And it represents basically the taking in of life. So some people have issues with taking a deep breath inwards and so that's almost like the body's kind of sh shocked like it's it's frozen in time not able to take in what's going on uh, in their lives within um, their consciousness and then the exhale is scanning more lower frequencies 
such as like the physical body, um, like the muscles, bones, but it also represents letting go. Okay, so a lot of us are aware of that. When you exhale, you're consciously trying to, not trying to, but it's about letting go, okay? You don't want to try to let go, but it's, it's a natural release. So sometimes in body talk, we will need to emphasize either the inhale or the exhale. Uh, sometimes we need to emphasize both. And so it just depends what we get with our biofeedback uh, testing. And also, depending on the formula that arises through all the testing, um, different techniques will be used alongside the tapping of these basic points. So, for example, um, through the muscle testing, we might find out that there's an active memory uh, at five years old that is kind of like a trauma. And this may be linked to the liver, which is then also affected by anger. So the active memory technique itself, if it came up first and then the anger and the liver were linked up later, the active memory technique usually will be tapped out and it'll kind of knock out the rest and it'll reestablish a proper flow of communication between uh, the liver and this memory so that the memory no longer stagnates in the body causing this imbalance. It'll start to reestablish it in a healthy way so it can be processed and released. Um, and also um, emotions, for example, the anger. If you think of the word emotion, you can think of it as energy in motion. So emotions are not unhealthy um, unless they stagnate in the body. So this is what actually creates the imbalance. Um, through these methods, you're helping to basically mobilize that uh, that stagnation and the emotions can then be transformed and released in a healthy way so if there was this anger connected to the liver it may actually be causing liver issues or maybe very subtly you know there's hormonal imbalances or things like that and then it all stems from this one trauma that has affected the entire body mind complex and once that link is cleared and um, that trauma is cleared, the, the flow of energy will be a lot better so that in an indirect way, you're actually affecting a lot of the functions of the liver itself. So this is an example. And um, just another thing about anger uh, is actually good it, when it's a healthy anger, it's good for taking action and doing things. So we all need a little bit of healthy amounts of anger, right? Okay. So another thing is, uh, is body talk for you? Well, really, it can be for everyone. So you can apply this to babies, to children, to adults, and even to plants and animals. So when young children and animals are the, the client, usually we use a surrogate so it could be the parent or the owner of the pet and we do the testing and the tapping and the treatment usually through the surrogate unless you know the child can stay still but normally um, it's just easier to use uh, the surrogate in in place of of that child and so Another thing is whether you're looking for healing on the physical level, mental, emotional, spiritual level, you will get all of it in body talk and um, the priorities will show up. So something you may have not even thought of in like 20 years may show up and it may have a direct impact on like some physical pain that you're experiencing. So the main thing is you don't have to necessarily have any experience with healing. But if you are open-minded, that is, that is the main thing, is just to be open-minded because pretty much anything can come up. <laughs> um, the results. So what results can you get from body talk? So this can obviously vary from person to person. Um, many people do experience improved energy. Uh, they may have detox responses. So for example, more elimination on the toilet. But that's a great uh, 
that's a great response because that means your body is eliminating old toxins, emotional and physical. So you, you'd want that kind of response. Um, an overall improved sense of well-being and emotional well-being, that is very common as well. Um, improved interpersonal relationships because a lot of body talk will address uh, relationships with other people in your life. So you may notice shifts, subtle shifts in the way um, the flow of energy is between you and certain people. Uh, there is also obviously a reduction or elimination even of certain symptoms that you may be experiencing. And overall, there's an increased self-awareness and, and an expanded perception of reality and of yourself. Because when you start to open up all these connections and you start to bring it to your conscious awareness, uh, like the five-year-old trauma connected to the liver, you start to realize a lot more about how all these stressful events are impacting you right now. And, and you're opening up your awareness to the possibilities of deeper, deeper forms of healing. And what can really happen when you start to recognize how much those can cause blockages within you. So it's, it opens you up, basically, to, to the possibilities in your life. And more, you may even attract more, you know, abundance and um, different kinds of people and different opportunities. So there's, there's, there's no limit to what you can get out of body talk. Um, it's a very interesting and expansive type of modality. So um, I'm happy to share it with whoever would like to try it. Uh, you can check out my website as I am going to be offering specials as well for this particular modality. And uh, I'm looking forward to Anyone who'd like to try it out, I can be reached by email if you want to reach out and let me know. Uh, or if you have any questions, you're welcome to uh, even comment on the video or send me an email. All right. Thank you so much for listening. See you soon. Love and light to all of you.